major strikes continue across France, the already shocking level of police repression seems to increase even faster. On Thursday, police attacked 11 high schoolers in one city and were filmed beating journalists in another. At an anti-government demonstration in Paris, even more avoidable violence occurred. Police launched tear gas and then charged peaceful marchers to divide and break up their protest. The repressive tactics of the police denied the human right to protest and inspired fury. While the mainstream media portrays such violence as directionless, that's rarely the case and the targets were typical. A car used by government workers and a high-end real estate agency. There were no banks in the area. French riot police have trapped around 200 protesters on this small side street. If the previous three months are any guide, what will soon follow is tear gas, billy clubs, and dozens of politically related arrests. At least 1,500 people have been arrested in the past three months of social unrest. La répression, c'est leur seule arme. In the face of such widespread protests, the only weapon the government can use is repression. There has been constant repression for more than three months, but we cannot be intimidated into stopping our demonstrations. While the mainstream media will focus on the smashed shops, protesters said the larger issue is the provocative and anti-democratic tactics of the police and their governmental superiors. Cops use tear gas so often that we have no choice but to cover our faces. Now they're using shock grenades in order to cause damage to our legs. What can the average person do against such weapons? We even have to bring our own medical teams now just to demonstrate. The strikes will increase next week, and the start of the Euro Cup may force police to work harder, meaning it will probably become even more dangerous to protest against the government in France.